Hello friends, good morning. I hope all of you are enjoying your Sunday and this edition I am trying to cover my decision making process on one of the upcoming IPOs which is Jyoti CNC Connection. So before I explain my thought process, a very important slide. You need to understand that I am not a CPU registered analyst, so please do not uh, invest based on my thought process. I am merely sharing this for educational purpose on how to make decision whether to invest or not. Please do not make investment decision based on this. Please apply your own thinking frameworks and then arrive at decisions on your own or with a registered uh, advisor. Very important. Thank you. Now, Jyoti CNC is a CNC machine manufacturer and supplier. And uh, it's pretty reputed company, with, uh, which holds the third largest market share in India and 12th in the overall uh, world. And its key customers are ISRO, Brahmos Aerospace, Tata Sikorsky Aerospace, Tata Advanced Systems, Turkish Aerospace, Uniparts, and Parikh Forge and Shakti Pumps. So their top 10 customers account for 20% of their earnings. So that is something very important to note. Now, so the company is issuing the IPO for uh, paying off some of its debts, making some strategic investments, and also funding working capital. So that's the there are three prompt aim for this stock and for IPO. Now, I am assuming that the stock will get listed at the top end of the offering, which is three thirty one, and. When we look at the competition, the competitors for this company are NG Equipments, Lachman Machine Works, Germany Turbine, 3D Power Systems, Mac Power Sensing Sheets. So we know that all of these competitors are doing very well in the stock market and made wealth for investors over the last few years. This is a growing sector and they are more increasingly growing in the a global uh, region as well. Now, when we look at the financials, one big red mark comes, which is company Jyoti CNC has not made profit year on year, right? So in the latest quarterly report, you can see that they have made a profit of three crores, but year on year, we're still negative, right? And when we look at, even if I look at, uh, the quarterly result and project uh, EPS of 0.8, the 0.8 to 1, 1.02, uh, based on how we look at it, um, the PE ratio comes to 331. Now, with the PE ratio, average PE ratio in this industry is 52, and the competitors, if you look at LGs, which is uh, 45.8, Lakshmi Machine Works, which is a huge company, where uh, the rating player is at 38, Trinity Turbine is 69, TD Power is 44, and Mac Power is 55. So, compared to peers, it's going to list it six times a year. And that for me is a big flip flat. That means the valuations are quite crazy and I couldn't at least find in the red herring prospectus uh, enough rationale to justify this mod of tea. So, so my conclusions are the good part is the companies in the growth sector, 
and it has got very good reputation. It has got some market customers on its uh, clientele list, and the company is managing debt very well. The debt is not growing overly, and the, the, when the IPO part of it is will be close, used to close the debt. Uh, the debt is currently very high, uh, and once the debt gets under control, probably the company is uh, naturally the, the financials will improve and the company may be uh, investable. And second part is financials are not exciting, especially when you compare to the uh, tiers, listed peers. And the company has uh, got checkered earnings. Uh, if you see that there's, there's no consistency, there's some dance, it's up very high earnings, sometimes it's very low earnings. That means if you're a, if I'm going to over this stock, I am going to have several hard ticks. So, and as I mentioned earlier, 10%, the top 10 clients account for 20% of their earnings. So that's high concentration risk there. So that means that the the pricing power is in the control of the customers and not with this company. And in the valuation front, it is, I don't know which which metric we can use with uh, anyone that we use, this comes out as astronomically expensive. So I am saying a big no thank you to this review. I will Though I will keep a watch on this company, the sector is exciting. If this company could can become a turnaround candidate in terms of debt uh, reduction and consistency in earnings, I would definitely uh, like to invest in it based on the reputation of the company. Management seems to be uh, pretty good. So these are my inferences from various sources including the uh, red heading prospectus. So this is my thought process on Jyoti CNC. I would be very interested in knowing whether you are going to invest in this and if so, why? And if not, why not? Uh, it's a learning process for everybody, so I'm also willing to learn. I, for myself, uh, I'm going to just watch sideline and I'm going to use the IPO-based principles to enter the stock if the financials improve and the valuations are at a decent level for me to digest. So I hope this video was useful. If so, please do like and subscribe. And I will meet you another day with another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.